Hey people, I um, I promise this won't be my backdrop for all of my posts in this house. It's just what I've got right now because I've still got the boxes and the furniture over here that you're not seeing. But we are moving in little by little. Um, so anyway, yeah, I what came through today for me that I wanted to to share is a kind of an interesting it was in a way it was like an affirmation of something that um I feel like I've maybe been cultivating and and or just allowing to incubate within me for the last several months which is um this so I was talking to a student today I was teaching a lesson and we were, but we ended up doing <laughs> kind of ended up going the way that a lot of my lessons are going these days which is we we veered off of piano for a little while and just started talking about the creative work that she's doing and looking at what um what how piano is fitting into that or how the the space that we're finding and creating through the work on the piano is also creating a new space around her other projects and some workshops she's running it's super, really exciting stuff and very kind of cool high level thinking stuff um, and one thing that I, what I no, heard myself saying, you know, she was talking about, well, I, I've only run this workshop one time. I don't, you know, I, I don't know how carefully I should plan it. I don't know how, you know, I don't, I, she gave me a description of where, she, of what she felt she wanted people to gain from it. And then she gave me a breakdown of a sort of sequence of, it was almost like an emotional roadmap, how, where to go emotionally, um, not necessarily a sequence of practices or, or exercises, but where she wanted to take people. And then, and then she talked about, she had, she had exercises and she had a kind of way of getting people through this journey. Um, but as she was articulating a sense of not knowing exactly how to go about it or how to structure it or how to prepare for it, I found myself saying, oh my God, just dive in and do it like you will I could I could it's like I could tell from what she was saying that there was um that it was going to be amazing that she was going to blow her own mind if she would if she that as soon as she's going to do it, it's going to happen it's, it's not even a question anymore it's just a question of when but I could see like oh you're gonna blow your own mind like I, I was like just record everything because as long as you record it you'll be able to go back and and capture what you what you did and maybe reuse you know but but what's going to come through is going to be so much more powerful than anything you could think of in advance and i felt really as i said it i realized wow i'm saying this from experience i'm not saying this because it's a nice thought or because it's what i think I should believe or what I think I should say. I'm saying this because it's actually my experience, my recent experience with this with this mindful piano course. My the, the course is a manifestation of that impulse where I knew where I wanted to take people. I knew how I wanted to invite people to engage and what our journey was going to be on a kind of deeper level on a you know, almost like a spiritual level, somewhat emotional level, but, um, but really it was a higher level. It was more like a, where do, where do we want to go? Where is this taking us in our, in our journey? And, and, and starting with a sense of what I was doing, but really not knowing exactly how I was going to get there at all or what the steps were going to look like. And then just going and doing it and little by little it was like it's almost like as I it was kind of like a light like a like headlights turning on as I started to drive through the dark it's like if I'm standing in the dark I can't see anything but as I started to move it was like the light got brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and as I went through the course I could see further and further ahead so like by the time I got about halfway through I could see to the end almost I mean again I didn't create all the content right away, but it but it was I could I created the content in accordance with the arc that I could see from about the halfway point. And that was just such a spectacular experience of 
you you have to start moving from the darkness. You have to just you have to start from not knowing. If you start from knowing, you're probably I mean, it, I, this is really hard to generalize because it may not always be true, but there's a way in which starting from a known place with this kind of work anyway is kind of you you have to be really careful that you're not hedging against the unknown. Because if we're hedging against the unknown when we do this work, trying to be safe, trying to make ourselves safe, trying to make sure it's good enough before we go somewhere, you know, and then we're going to we're going to not be as available. We're like the the thing that can come through that's that can blow our own mind can't come through if we think we already know. And I just it was really it was kind of affirming for me to realize that that's what I've been living for the last several months and that that's what I've been doing. And that when I said that to someone, I was like, wow, I'm saying this because I know this is true. I'm not saying this because I'm trying to be a good coach and I hope that this works out for her. I'm saying this because I know if she makes this move, this is what's going to happen for her. She's going to, it's her own spotlight of awareness is going to brighten and brighten and brighten as she goes. And it's going to blow her mind by the end, like what she's created. Um, so that was a cool feeling. That was a cool recognition. And I think funny enough, it's totally relevant to me, of course, because I have a presentation this Friday for a group of students. My brother is, uh, runs a film program and he wants me to do a, a lecture, I'd be a guest lecturer for one of his classes. And in case you can't tell, I've had a busy couple weeks and not, haven't really done a ton of prep work for this. But it's the sort of thing that I know, I, I know, again, it's like I know what I want them to feel. I know what I would love to impart to a group of 20 somethings, you know, in college about the creative process, about music i mean these are more filmmakers and designers than they are musicians but uh, the process is so similar in terms of uh making ourselves available for inspiration and listening to the voice inside of us so i know where i'm trying to take them and i may not have a perfect script by friday the day after tomorrow <laughs> so um yeah it's good for me to both realize that today, feel that, and now, and now in this moment, associate it with what's coming up for me in the next couple of days, because I've definitely been going, oh, right, this is happening. Ooh, what am I going to say? I better think about that. <laughs> and I will think about it. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's cool to feel that there's a process, that there's a reliable process that I that I trust that starts with it being okay to not know that's a cool feeling and it's very very you know it, you feel like I feel like I'm standing on solid ground even when I even when it feels like I'm not you know that's that's kind of the trick of it like even when it feels like there's no ground knowing that there's a ground and knowing that I will see exactly what I need to see at the moment that I need to see it and just trusting that so, yeah, that's where I am today, people. That's my, that's what came through very powerfully. Um, and, um, yeah, it's a, it's a nice thing to real, to feel like I'm ingesting and incorporating into the way that I work. Thanks for watching, people. I appreciate you. Love you much. Um, yeah, so great to have you in my life. So grateful and... I love the engagement that you all give and the comments and the, the reaching out to me about this. It's very, very cool. Um, and I'm going to change this backdrop for you as soon as possible. Don't worry. It's going to get better. Have a good day. Have a good night.